Hello there and welcome to AD Craft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this amazing fantasy blacksmith and there's a full world download available for this build as well. So let's get on with it. These are the materials that you'll need for the build including the interior so pause the video and make sure you have everything. This is the floor plan for the ground floor of the build and I've marked on the dimensions for you to help. Uh, the build itself does overhang by about three to four blocks on each side so you will need to make sure that you do have enough space around this. First step that we're going to take for the build is we are going to build each of these pillars up on the corners of this main section to a total height of nine blocks. With all of those built up, the next thing that we are going to do is build these two up to three blocks high. The two at the back are going to come up to six blocks high. And this final one is going to come up five blocks high. Next, we're going to take all of these blue sections and we're going to take them up to a total of four high. Uh, once we've done that all the way around, we're also then going to start mixing in some of the andesite blocks every so often. So it doesn't matter where you put these, just mix them in randomly like so. So fill that in all the way around and fill in this little section as well, equally to four high. Once that's done, it will look like this all the way around. And next we're going to come to the edge of this blue section here. In the middle of these three blocks that we've got, we're going to knock the middle one out and place a, a block in the floor so we can actually see the floor. And on either side like this, we're going to build two pillars, both of them 12 blocks high, which is going to be three blocks higher than these stripped spruce pillars that we have here. Now, just from outside the build, we're going to come to this next section and we're going to fill this in right the way across like so. And we're going to go up to 11 high, which will be one from the top across here. And we're going to fill all of this section in with the stone bricks. With that now done, we're going to place a single cobblestone over this doorway. And then we're going to come in and the next thing to do will be to simply replace all of this white concrete with some of the oak planks. With the oak floor in place, we are going to start adding in some lintels and some windows. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to knock out these two blocks here. And that's going to be a window that we're going to deal with later. Over by the doorway, we're going to add a spruce uh, stair upside down. On this five wide wall, we're going to knock out these two blocks here and the two oh, just across there. And we're going to place an upside down stair. And on this wall, we're going to knock out this, this and these blocks and then we're going to place an upside down stair on all of them. For the last of the walls, we're just going to leave that as it is. Next, we're going to start building up the second story, which is going to be connecting all of these pillars that we have at the moment. Uh, and we're going to be using the white concrete. And we're going to be connecting four high on these and connecting right away across. So filling all of these in, similar to how we did the bottom floor. Once we've got the walls there, we're going to also just mix in some white wool and you can also optionally mix in some smooth quartz just to give a bit of block variety. Then the final thing that we're going to do is then connect up using some of these stripped spruce logs. So we'll do that all around this main section. Now we're going to add some windows into this section. So uh, above the doorway, we're going to add the first window, which is going to be two blocks high. Then we're going to add again two more windows just above the ones we have on the floor beneath. With each of these windows, we've got an upside down spruce stair on the top and the same round this side as well, just mirroring where the windows are beneath. And then finally, we're also going to add two windows on this back section of the build, just here and here. Uh, so lining that up and that gives us all the windows that we'll need. Then we are actually going to start building the stairs. So we're going to take some oak stairs and we're going to leave two blocks and then we're going to start using the stairs to come up the wall. And that will then match up with the window here. And the last stair will come to this point, which is where we will start placing some upside down stairs on the undersides of these, like so. And finally, on this stage, we are going to finish this off by adding some of the oak planks through uh, on all of the sections that we have here, leaving the area for us to come up the stairs completely uncovered like so. Now we're going to add a floor to this section and that is again going to be the oak slabs. 
uh, we're going to bring out two on either side here leave this one as a gap for some ladders coming through and then just fill in all of the rest of the space up to but not covering this chimney breast like so with the hole in place we're going to add some ladders so we've got access between the different floors if you're building this in survival obviously make sure that you are lighting things up in the build so that you don't get any nasty spawning and now we're going to come and we're going to build the section that's going to go underneath the rafters and the roof and we're going to do that by building three across in, across in the center then we're going to build that three high so we've got a square we're going to knock out the middle block and we're going to place that on top so we've got this kind of weird little shape going on and then as we did before we're just going to randomly pick some places and add some wool and some smooth quartz into the into the mix here and we're going to do the same on the other side as well so we've got one at either end of the build now we're going to add in a little window and the window is going to be placed here so just next to this block on the first of these three that comes along and this is on the same side as the chimney we're going to build up with two of the spruce logs the stripped ones and then we're just going to place a white concrete in the middle here like so moving from the main build to the blacksmith portion for a moment first thing that we're going to do is we are going to fill in the floor for this three by two section at the front so we've got some nice stone bricks underneath then we are going to surround this all the way around with a five high wall that's going to connect up once we've done that we are then going to add in some upside down stairs at the third block so we've got two blocks and then the third block with an upside down stairs here and here and then we're just going to connect up with two more lines of the stone bricks on the top and then fill in this top section so that means that when we place some fires under here there's somewhere for the smoke to escape next level with these stone bricks we're going to go back to the cobblestone and we're going to fill in a little roof on this section like so up to this and then using some andesite just mix in some of the blocks for that as well now we're going to link up from this stone brick section to the other rest of the chimney breast and we're going to do this first of all by doing a three by three section and that's going to be too high then we're going to have a three by two section that's just going to be one block high then we're going to have two blocks high which is just the three here and as you can see that gives us a nice smooth transition into this chimney on the back wall of this chimney now we are going to place first of all a full set of bricks here then we're going to have against the wall itself two more up like this and then down the center we're going to have two further bricks like this just to bring that chimney again into the main section uh, which forms the lintel on the fireplace inside and then we're going to add two more of the bricks here we're then going to start building up to the chimney stack itself and that's going to be done by placing two bro uh, bricks here with another brick here and then a brick on top then we're going to place some walls in this other gap so that's too high we're going to have a full line of walls coming here and then we're going to finish off with some bricks on top and that gives us the chimney stack itself we're now going to add some block variation to the chimney breast and again this isn't an exact science so how you go about doing this is entirely up to you uh, but i'm going to be using some of the cracked stone bricks stone slabs stone brick stairs and stone brick walls in order to do this and in essence it's just a case of randomly placing some of these blocks in there to make it look a bit more like it is just um, stepping up in a more organic way uh, and then obviously also mixing in some of the other block variants so you might want to put uh, for example a wall here just again to make that transition look a bit nicer uh, or a slab there again to make it match up so just we're going to go down the whole of this side and I'm just going to add some of the details in The finished chimney stack will look something like this. Now's a good time to remind you that there is a full world download with all of the builds in this series in the description. So go and check that out if you want to see in a bit more detail what I've done. 
and now we're going to finish this chimney so we're going to add in some campfires on top we're going to put in some spruce trap doors and make sure that those are closed all the way around and that'll give us a really nice uh, chimney effect next what we're going to do is we're just going to add in some stone brick slabs and a fireplace so a campfire with a hearth of uh, some polished andesite for each of these levels so we'll go down and do that on the next level as well so again stone brick in here i've already put that in place put in the fire and then put in the hearth and do the same on this level where we've got the stone brick and then we just put the hearth in place now for the big main blacksmith's furnace, we're gonna place some of the andesite here, which leaves us with three blocks where we can place some campfires going through like this. Now you might wanna place one the other direction just to make it a little bit more interesting. Next, we are going to be using the blacks, polished blackstone bricks and the cracked variety. And we're gonna take out some of this grass and start filling in the flooring here. So basically we take out all of the grass and just mixing up the bricks and the cracked variety we're going to come right the way out to this level and just fill all of this in with some flooring now we're going to add some detail to the main build uh, before we add on the roof so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take some of the spruce stairs and we're going to add these on the bottom on the outside not in this bit which connects up to the blacksmith area but on the rest of the build as you can see with those we've not gone onto the inside of these blocks um, but we have gone on the edge now what we're going to do is we are going to start adding some at the level that we've got this transition now these ones we're going to start by placing them on the underside so these are going to be supporting this overhang section we're also going to have some of these facing out like this and one here as well so we're going to put these all the way around the build as well With those supports in place, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take some spruce trapdoors. We're going to place some spruce trapdoors on these gaps here. So this again forms an archway and will support this next level. So we're going to put some trapdoors here. We're also going to place some trapdoors going around the inside of uh, the top here. So this again smooths the transition out and makes it just look a little bit more supported. In these gaps, when we've got a five wide gap, what we're going to do is we are going to just place ourselves a spruce slab just like this, just in order to kind of keep that same design going on, uh, but not keep the same blocks. And with those done all the way around, the next stage for us is to add a sticking out spruce log on this corner and this corner at the back and the same at the front and that's going to show us the top level of the columns that we're going to start building up so on top of these upside down stairs we're going to connect these up to that same level so it's one beneath the wood that we've got here for each of these corner blocks we are going to give ourselves a slab that's going to be a bottom slab here so just beneath the top and then one here and then we're going to place a couple of acacia fences in that gap we're going to do that on all of the corners and once we've done that we're going to take some acacia signs and start to run these right the way along just beneath these window sections Now we're going to fill in the windows with just some cyan stained glass panes all the way around. And then we're getting to the top pillars themselves. So with these, firstly on the front and the back, we're going to connect up with a line of the uh, stripped spruce that's going across. And then on the underside of these, we're going to mirror the same pattern that we've got going on here. So we're going to have a an archway coming up and connecting and when we've got these five wide ones we are going to connect that up with a slab in the middle with the trap doors on either side
On the ground floor now, we're just going to fill in all of these windows with some of the cyan stained glass panes before we then place a uh, warped door in this doorway and then going out to the build again we're moving up to the second floor and we're going to put some more trap doors going around each of these pillars just beneath these stairs. This section above the cross beam, this is going to be the same for the front and the back. Uh, so just repeat this on the other side. The first thing we're going to do is put a pane of glass in here. Then we're going to put a concrete on either side with a stripped spruce log on in front of that. Now we're going to get some stairs and we're going to place a stair in these corners and a stair in each of these corners as well. And this will create a little circular window. And then we're going to round that out using some spruce trap doors, one here on either side as well one above there and then we're going to move to our spruce planks place a spruce plank on top and then we've got an L shape of spruce planks like this with another spruce trap door in front and then a upside down stair here so as I say finish that on both the two sides for this other window we're going to start by placing ourselves three more of the spruce planks coming up just in front of the ones that we already have there. On top of both of those we're actually then going to place two warped planks because this is going to be the roof colour. In here we'll put the glass and then we will put a spruce stair upside down here like so. We're going to have a spruce fence gate that's going to be open just in there as a little detail and we're also going to have an acacia sign just fitting in that little gap. Now we're getting onto the roof and the first step of this is we're going to add the edge to the roof. So we're going to start over here and this is going to be from the level that is just above on the sides these trapdoors that we've placed in. So we're just going to have a line of these coming across like so and that's going to be on both sides of the build and it's going to go out one block further than the edge of the build itself. With the first stage done Next, we're going to build up to the apex of the roof that we've got here. So we're going to have an upside down stair with a stair, upside down stair with a stair, another upside down stair, and this time we're going to have a full block like so. So we've got three upside down stairs on this side, and then including the block that we placed three of the regular stairs. And then we're going to continue this with a stair and an upside down stair full block and then finally a stair will take us into the upside down stair that we have on this apex so we'll do this on the other side and also on the back of the build with both of the apexes in we're going to start filling in the roof now what we're going to do for the roof is we're going to just simply uh, mirror what we've got on the edge block all the way along the build. So for this that would mean that we've got a stair here, we've also got stairs here coming across for both of these. Once we get to this first of the blocks we're going to fill in the edge blocks to bring us level with the interior and then we're going to use some upside down stairs to actually come across so we get the same look on the inside but it means we can put some stuff that we can then open like chests on the other side uh, we'll then fill in again carry on and we're going to continue up to this point where we will stop at the second layer of full blocks and on this side we do pretty much exactly the same we fill this in uh, fill it in here when we get to this bit we're going to fill it in uh, to the edge of the window and here we're going to bring the stairs across now the only difference being so that we don't have this little hole here we're going to bring an upside down stair in across like this and then just carry on as if as we were with the and uh, it's on this block regular stairs just connecting up to that and that will mean that there's no gaps in between and then we'll just again stop at this second level here but I'll fill this in now to finish off this little window section we're going to start by placing a warped stair in the middle here then we're going to switch to the spruce stairs and we're going to bring those out so it goes one block past on each of the sides and similar to what we did on the front of the build, we're going to then move this up to a peak. So we're going to have a 
plank coming on top of each of these and then a stair on either side with an upside down stair in the middle. Connecting this up to the central section, we're just going to use some full spruce planks and then we're going to finish this off on the sides like this with some of the warped stairs. Now on top, we're going to have a little bit of decoration. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some slabs coming out this way to give a proper apex, a stair here, an upside down stair here with a stair on the front of it so you get this pattern coming around and looping over to finish that off we're just then going to put a spruce trap door uh, just to give it a bit of extra depth coming around and that is then that little window section finished and now onto the main section of the roof we are going to firstly place three of the spruce planks at each end we're then going to switch and place a spruce stair here with a spruce plank connecting that up we're also going to add a spruce stair coming through to connect to this little section here. And on top of this, we are going to add some more blocks. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to place two of the spruce planks. We're going to have a right way up stair after that, like so. Then we are going to have two of the slabs going through like this. On top of this, we're going to finish off with a bit of a pattern. So we're going to do that as well, the same at the other end. We're going to finish off with a pattern similar to what we've got there, but slightly bigger, where we've got an upside down stair like this. And then we come round with an additional stair. So we've got this nice little hook coming round on top. So we'll do that on the other side as well. Now to finish off the apex and the final bit of the warped wood that we're going to put on here, we're going to start by placing three of the stairs with then a corner stair like this. So this is then going to come across and then when we place a slab here, you can see that we've just got a nice half block uh, line that we've got of the spruce that's coming up here. On top, what we're going to do is we're going to use then some of the spruce trapdoors as well to smooth this out, placing one here one here and then one on top here just like so and that kind of makes it a nice smooth curve so we're going to do that at the other end as well round on this side because we've got this extra section it's almost exactly the same we're putting the three stairs in and then we're going straight into the slab at this side so we'll finish that off for both of these sections now for the roof because it is very very much one color we're going to do what we've done on the previous builds and that is we're going to be using some of the prismarine and the dark prismarine and some of the um the warped warp blocks in order to just mix things up a little bit in this section and we're going to do this on all of the bits of the roof just to add a bit of variety in there with the different blocks added to the roof now we're going to work on this little roof of the blacksmith section. So first of all, we're going to build the frame and the edge. And we're going to do this by firstly putting a slab in the corner between these two stairs and bringing this out here right to the edge and then one block past. And what we're going to do then is we're going to step up in half block increments to take us right the way to the roof. So for that, we're going to be then having a spruce plank, a full one, then two spruce slabs, then a spruce plank then two spruce slabs again like so and then again repeat basically with a full block and then two slabs alternating until we get to this end section now this end section uh, is the only different one we're just going to bring that straight out like so uh, one block past and we're going to then connect this all the way round like this and that is going to connect up here for this little roof section. With the edge of the roof in place, we're going to now deal with this little gap that we've got here. And we're going to do that by coming one block above this window here and adding a line of these spruce trap doors along right the way around just on these two sides. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mirror the blocks beneath, but we're going to use some of the walls. So we're going to connect this up using the wall mechanic uh, and fill this in and do the same on this side like so. Uh, adding in maybe another andesite here and the walls and that just then gives a bit more depth to this particular wall itself but keeping it quite plain which is the desired look. Now we're going to add in the roof itself so we're going to mirror as we have done with the big roof what is on the side of this roof so this is going to be the full blocks coming across like so and connecting up here this is then going to have the slabs so we're only going to have the top slab 
so that we bring it across and we'll need to take out both of these uh, just so that it lines up nicely. Then we go back to the full blocks and bring this out level like this. Onto the slabs again, across. You guessed it, full blocks next, bringing us level with this. Another layer of slabs just to bring us across and finally we finish off with some of the full blocks. Now it's worth noting that if you're building this in survival, both on top of the, the roof here where I've added some of the buttons and on this section, you have got some spawnable spaces. So you might want to add some buttons or some, uh, or some trap doors or alternatively some pressure plates just to make sure that this is spawn proof. But now we've done that roofing, the only thing left is the details for the interior. Now I'm not gonna do a block by block of the interior, but I am gonna do a run through uh, and walk through the build. So you should be able to see everything that I've put in here. One final detail inside is to come in and to just finish off the chimney breasts in here by adding in some of the um, the lintels across the top of the, the uh, fireplaces and then also adding in some stone bricks. So I've done this on both of these floors. As you can see, this smoke then goes up and collects and just I've just used some of the stone bricks there. And the one different one that I've done here on the top is because we had space, I've actually moved the fireplace back one block so it doesn't intrude into this room, just gives a bit more space and looks fantastic just tucked away in there. Now the final finishing touches before we do go into that interior run through are just to add some of the spruce trapdoors just in on this block and this block here, just again to kind of match up with what we've got on the other side of the build, just to tie it together a little bit. We're gonna add, rather than a window, we're gonna add some fences in here to give us a little bit of a window through there. And then we're just gonna go around, and this is entirely where you want to put them, to add some lanterns onto this build. Uh, now, normally I find that adding them onto the corners and particularly adding them onto the apex here, like so, is a really, really good thing. And obviously, with these being the bottom of a stair, you can hang them perfectly there. So we're just gonna go around add a few of these lanterns onto some of these blocks. The other one that you might want to do just to make sure that you've got some light by your door is to add a fence here and just add an additional lantern there because then you've got a nice light for when you come up to the doorway itself. But yeah, other than that, just space the lanterns wherever you want to see them. And now I will finish off the interior and show you what it all looks like. The build is now finished and I've added in just a little bit of block variation on the top of the blacksmith section. So let's go and have a look at the details that we've got on the build. So first of all, you'll see that you've got all the things that you might need, a grindstone, you've got some anvils around, obviously some blast furnaces and a smithing table uh, with just a pot there for, uh, for making brass fittings and such. So on the walls as well, we've got some of the tools. Now, if you have either the pack or you can use the command, you can make these invisible item frames. Uh, we've got plenty of light in here and we've got a nice bell. And then we've got the metal cooking within this furnace. Now it's, it's just water in this because I'm in 1.16. But if you're in 1.17, you could actually turn that into lava and that would look even better. We've also got a little crafting table here and just again, some polished cracked blackstone bricks on the floor and some stairs mixed in as well, just to give a bit of depth. Moving into the build itself, we've got again some more paraphernalia on this ground floor of the, the blacksmithing trade. So we've got a smithing table here, some more blast furnaces for an inside section, and then obviously the grindstone and the anvil here with just the little fireplace looking lovely here as well. We've got a smoker at the end as well, just in case, in case you get hungry, because I did want this to be a, quite a practical base as well. Uh, we've got a little bit of art on the walls as well here and coming up to the main living area we've just got a little table here a little bit of storage a lovely fireplace here with a big double bed uh, just a couple of details we've got a dragon head and a, a, a skull there uh, but you could put anything onto those shelves that you wanted a bit more storage here and then just this nice decoration here with some of the uh, the bookshelves and one of the soul fire lanterns here now with these bookshelves because we're using oak for the flooring you can actually use these bookshelves as that flooring and it looks exactly the same and it gives you this extra line of bookshelves for um for your build so that's a really good thing i've also just taken the bottom ladder away so that we can have more of this carpet going through we've got a little banner 
ba banister even going around this stair. So we'll head up here. And then we've got basically the main storage area, another little table, a small furnace array here for anything that you didn't want to cook in your blast furnaces, another little fireplace and just some more art on the walls. And that's basically it for, for this, apart from the lovely, lovely little seat just sitting in front of the fire, just warming yourself up, checking your views out the window and uh, a little plant pot. So we've got some lovely views because we've got some, some good windows here. Uh, through but yeah that's the detail of the build um, and I hope you've enjoyed it if I can get down this ladder there we go um, but as I've mentioned before there is a full world download available for the build so make sure you check the description out that is available through my discord so g come along and join the community as well it's a great group of people and you'll love it there so check it check out the world download there and all that's left to be said is I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have do let me know in the comments do leave a like on the video and share it as much as you can because it really does help the channel uh, and also above all make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and I will see you all next time on 80 craft bye <laughs>